What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. It's been a little while, and this is the reason why. We had ESL the last few days, and this video is kind of recapping the results, how it went for us at least. Uh, the tournament is still ongoing as I speak. It'll be finished up tomorrow. Um, so obviously we're not going all the way to the finals, unfortunately, but... Um, lots of great wars, great attacks. It was a fun time, very exciting. Got to know some other clashers and had a good time uh, just planning out these very intense, exciting wars. Um, so, we're going to look at some awesome Town Hall 12 attacks today from each player because um, it was all around a team effort to uh, get us as far as we did. Um, let me hop into the first attack before I say too much here. Um, this is uh, one of the only triples. It's very hard to triple even against kind of in internet anti two star bases because these are all fresh hits, no scouts. You got to make sure you get the two star because just like in the SCWL uh, leagues every month, for this ESL tournament, um, each player only gets one attack. So no one's going to clean up your hit if you only get a one star. Uh, that being said, this was a very nice hit here um, by Hoosier with a uh, bat opener heroes and then a nice dragon attack from there um so the way esl works if you guys aren't familiar is um there's the clash of clans world championship which is trying to find the best players and the best clans and uh every month the top four from the in-game war leagues that's the, called the scwl um the top four clans uh it, from champs one go to the qualifier as well as four clans from this uh, alternative method the esl pre-qualifier um, which is a way if you're, you're not in one of the top clans but you're still a very skilled team um, five players can also advance uh, to that as well and that's happening every month for the next few months then the top players from uh, those qualifiers will go to the actual world championship so there's a lot of gameplay a lot of narrowing it down very slowly um, and my team was in the March pre-qualifier this month. Um, we, uh, so there's about 1,000, about 1,100 clans in the tournament. We got top 64. I uh, would have had to get top four to actually advance to the uh, uh, qualifier, which is held in Poland. You actually travel for it. So we were still um, about four wins away from that happening, but... I'd say a good performance. We got a few default wins uh, on technicalities or clans not being able to war us because they were already in a war by accident. They didn't understand it was a friendly challenge war, so they couldn't be in a war already. Um, so that kind of helped out in the first couple rounds. But we had some good wins and had a tough loss against a very solid clan uh, that was just a little bit more prepared, had just, I think, a little bit better bases and uh, ended up getting the job done offensively as well. And we'll take a look at that war as well. Um, this first one was a pretty, uh, I mean, it, all of these are going to be pretty close, these wars, but this was a pretty comfortable war for us. Um, 11 to 10, got the triple, also would have had them on percentage. I mean, a lot of these were 97% attacks. We're going to take a look at some of these 97s because there's not a, lot of, not a whole lot of triples to show, unfortunately, just because that's not the nature of a lot of these wars. If you have good bases um, or even decent bases, at Town Hall 12 on a fresh hit where you got to be safe and get the two star uh, it's very difficult to triple so this was my attack here um, as a 12 and going ahead and using dragons as well it's one of the safest strategies in terms of securing the two star but also has a good chance of three and coming at the Town Hall side uh, gonna get some good value from the heroes actually the King's going to get all the way into like that multi-inferno and allow the queen to uh, snipe it as he goes through the wall there. So, a ton of value here. This is why this ended up being so close. Um, even though the two-star probably would have been... Uh, well, I only got two-star, but uh, this is more of a safe two-star attack with a, a chance of a three, which ended up almost working. Uh, those test loons ended up being very nice. They triggered two seeking air mines, which this person just put a ton of them on that side of the base, I guess expecting the dragons from that side, which is what ended up happening. Like I said, the queen's ability getting that inferno was very nice. Um, but yeah, just to uh, give some more information about the uh, ESL option, uh, if you guys didn't see the original video I posted about a month ago 
uh, about this. I have a clan ES or COC Inceptatron, the clan you're currently seeing right here. And every month, um, me and a team of players, four other people, is going to be participating in this uh, in this tournament, hoping to basically get to the top four and uh, go to the qualifiers in Poland, which was very encouraging considering you know our first time out, uh, first time doing it, new squad. We were able to actually get pretty far into the tournament, um, top 64 out of 1,100. So I'm going to try to do this um, every month that I can. It is pretty early in the morning for North Americans. I was waking up at like 4 a.m. for this, uh, which sucked for the two days I had to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's going to be the 12th. 13th and 14th of every month and then at the end of the month if you're in the top four you travel uh, for the qualifiers but uh, I will go ahead and give a shout out to the discord if you are actually a 12 interested I'm going to kind of redo the application cycle every month in case uh, returning players can't make it um, and the team is competitive so it is run to kind of get the best players on the team so uh, there always is a chance if you apply that you can be selected. So if you're a max 12 and you're interested, you can fill out that application. Uh, let me fast forward to the rest of this attack. The Discord link is in the description, and the application will go live in a few weeks um, as we get closer to the actual uh, April tournament, which is about a month from now. But uh, I thought I might as well shout it out because this is the only recap video I'll be doing. Uh, one more attack from this war. This had a lot of our almost triples in it. This was a nice queen charged Lalo clan from Will. I mean, it was good besides the time. Just couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite get the last few buildings down before time expired here. Uh, but it's just, we'll go times two. Uh, just a classic queen walk, um, and then gonna charge the queen in as she starts to wrap around. Uh, but nice poison here, double dragon CC. Not going to be much of an issue for the queen. Um, but yeah, a lot of this was strategy. Um, fresh hits, what are you putting in your CC? Triple Witch, maybe? I mean, that can ruin some E-Drag attacks if they don't have a poison for it. Um, or Ice Golems to kind of start stop Queen Charges, stop Kill Squads. Uh, maybe a Hound Baby Dragon. There's all different types of CCs, all different types of trap placements, Tesla placements, that can kind of screw up what might look like a good plan to the attacker as they're scouting it, because it's all fresh hits, guys. Um, let me go back to times one. Uh, it is all fresh hits. Nice use of the stone slammer on that Tesla farm there. Um, so yeah, this was a very nerve-wracking experience. A uh, lot of you know, lot of stuff to plan with only an hour to do it. 15-minute prep day, one-hour war. Um, basically, it's about three wars a day, and it lasts for three days. If you end up going far, it could be up to like five or six wars on the final day, but. Um, for mostly it's spread out over those three days and um, yeah had a good time and looking forward to doing it doing it again next month which actually falls on a Friday Saturday Sunday which is a lot nicer because it was a Tuesday Wednesday Thursday this this month which made it so a lot of people couldn't even do it and uh, had to miss some class time stuff like that to uh, participate so um, that is a plus for next month Moving right along, two more attacks to take a look at. Um, so our next war, uh, let's see, where are we? Um, uh, war log. Our next war was a lot closer. They might have had us on percentage, I think. But it came down to my base only getting one starred. I ran kind of an anti two star type base to try to force that, and luckily it worked out because um, things were very tight at the end. I wanted to show Army's attack for this one. Like I said, I want to give each person uh, an attack on the channel um, because I think it's, you know, everyone performed pretty well, and it's definitely warranted. Only one triple, actually. Uh, which you saw, guys saw at the beginning of this video. But there was a lot of very close plans, as you've been seeing. And uh, this one was a plan I liked. You know, all these are, are stuff we're talking about on Discord before the actual person goes in. So these are kind of team plans. Uh, everyone's putting in some thoughts to it. But yeah, just heroes up top. And then going to E-drag from the town hall side. 
what we saw mostly were e-drag attacks, um, dragon attacks. Uh, I tried a, a minor attack, but really it's tough to use miners on a fresh hit. Um, there's just so many different variables, you know, and it's hard to predict what's in the CC. It matters much more than it does for maybe more of a spamish type attack like this. Um, but the drag, the e-drags actually get very far into the base here, and these attacks can kind of just triple sometimes by. I don't want to say luck, because a lot of it's kind of good setup, but can just kind of stumble into a triple, even if it was more of a high percentage two-star type attack. And high percentage two-stars tend to win most of these wars. Um, so yeah, the E-Drags push through here. He's going to get about 75% uh, of the base taken out. The E-Drag at the bottom helps out. A lot of it also is kind of putting on these back-end archers and minions, sniping those last few buildings, because every percentage matters. Uh, in these wars. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the end of this replay. Nice attack. We'll take a look at one more because we haven't quite uh, uh, gotten through the entire team. And um, yeah, we'll ha hop into the most recent war. This is the one we lost. Um, not as close towards the end because they tripled this first base pretty early. We knew we had to go for some more, so we weren't quite as safe towards the end, which might explain uh, why we had a couple one stars, but um, in terms of percentage, we were hitting at about 67 on most of their bases. I think they were at about the same 60, 87 on mine, 66 there. So really, um, we would have needed to uh, be much more solid and probably get a triple to uh, to win this war. This was a good clan, the North Watch. Um, I think they were also formed just for this ESL league. But we'll take a look at um, Godspeed's plan here. This one actually was one of the minor plans, and I think it had all the components there. It just didn't quite, it just it was a little bit uh, clumsy in terms of how everything ended up going into the base, which once again is something on a fresh hit, you know, a lot of this is tricky to predict. And also another thing just to point out is there was a lot of kind of high profile clans in this. We had uh, Dark Looters, we had WHF, we had, I think, One Hive was in it, at least part of the One Hive clan. Uh, not One Hive Genesis, but the uh, just um, original One Hive clan. There was some configuration of their players in it. So there was um, quite a few of those high profile clans, well known clans, and I don't think many of them are left as I speak today with uh, 32 clans still in it. A um, lot of upsets and a lot of kind of clans that you might not have heard about that are kind of taking the uh, the tournament bracket by storm. So um, I think that goes to show kind of anyone can lose in these types of wars. There's so much more strategy than uh, might be in like a more traditional type war because a lot of trickery comes into play and these are not the types of bases necessarily that we see on Town Hall 12s in regular wars where the base is going to be hit multiple times. This is putting the town hall separate from a lot of value. If you notice on this attack, um, in this base, the town hall has almost no like archer towers, wizard towers, expos, anything that's going to give too much value, air defenses included, uh, that's going to give too much value on like a dragon push. So basically they're saying if you want to use dragons and safely get the town hall, you're not going to get much else besides that. Um, because oftentimes people will just spam dragons or e-drags at the town hall side to try to get a high percentage two-star or even a three-star off that. Um, so the, in that sense, they had pretty solid bases against this. Um, unfortunately, that balloon stayed up in the CC. That was responsible for the death of quite a few miners, um, and the queen couldn't quite survive as she moved up to the top of the base. But I think this had all the components to be a three-star. It just didn't quite... Everything didn't quite move fluidly enough to make it work, so... Good plan once again, and uh, that'll pretty much wrap it up for all the replays I'm going to be showing. Like I said, if you're interested in participating in uh, ESL on my team, you can check the link in the description to join the Discord server. There's also another um, USA-only league that's going to be going on. I haven't decided exactly how uh, I'm going to be involved in that, but if you're also looking at that, join the server as well. There might be something there. Uh, for that league as well. So, having said all that, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a little while since I uploaded, so I've been so busy with this and other things, but I'll get back to it, and you guys will see some more content soon. Got a new iPhone, as you can tell, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.